I mean, back when all this cloud stuff first came out and I was still running an IT department, there was always a concern, like my, my data is going where, you know, and, and it, and a lot of people at my age level had that, that feeling, but that seems to have gone away. And now it's just more accepted that yes, this cloud technology is the future. And if you're not on board, um, you're gonna get left behind or have lots of problems. I think that's actually a really interesting question because, you know, Ken, I do see that too, where like there's certain people in leadership positions where it's like, we're going to the cloud. Cloud is it? Cloud, cloud, cloud. That's happening. But yeah. then there's other guys who are kind of like, you know, there are other people that are kind of, they're, they're a little, they're asking a few questions. And I think, I think that's a good thing to do because, because it depends, like Paul had said earlier, it really depends on that vertical or that business that you're in. Does it make sense to be fully in that public cloud? Do you have concerns? Because, because I mean, even think about earlier this week, you know, people are in the cloud, their Microsoft is hosting their stuff. Well, there's a little bit of an outage. And all of a sudden, I'm sure help desks all over the U.S. lit up because they weren't able to access their team's things and documents and SharePoint and whatnot that's kind of something that happens in the cloud that we need to know about and understand that when you do, you know, everybody has, has issues, right? I mean, computers are still machines, issues exist. Amazon has them, you know, Microsoft well, has them. I would, Those I still would say my answer to that nowadays would be compare the ability to, if you're a small business and you're like, no, I want to keep everything on my prem. And then you have a problem. Well, you have a very small ability to respond to that problem, whether it's human resources, financial resources, but if you're in uh, some type of cloud and something goes wrong, you have a much greater pool to draw from that's working to get that back up and running. Right, right. And that's where that kind of that question of flexibility comes in. Uh, and, and, uh, and like you said, being able to draw from that bigger pool of resources. So I think, you know, and, and, and the other thing to understand, think about what the cloud do is if you need to get your information back, you know, is it the Hotel California where you can get the information there, but you can never leave? Well, that, that's kind of one of the things to think about is, is what does it mean to you if you need that data back or if you need to change providers? Because it can be very simple to get the data pushed to the cloud, but then moving it uh, to a different provider or extracting it for your own purposes can be um, a difficult and costly endeavor. So, but yeah, I think, I think that, that, that you're right there. They're, and we're kind of still in it. There's a period where people were just like, move to the cloud. Don't ask questions, move to the cloud. And now I see, you know, and people I'm talking to, I see a little bit more of a thought pattern going around. Does it make sense? Or, or are there elements of my business when you think about hybrid, there are things that it makes sense to have in the cloud and there's other things that maybe it makes sense not to have in the cloud. You know, so, so there's, there's that process going on now more than I think before. Mm -hmm.